So our next speaker is Ernest Feitmans. And he is at the Swiss Institute of Bioinformatics. In fact, he's not only at the Swiss Institute of Bioinformatics, he's the director of the Swiss Institute of Bioinformatics. But in fact, he has trained as a cell biologist and as a statistician. And as you can see, he's a sailor and he has sailed in many water, both in real terms, but also in the term of where he has worked and in which field. Because he has started by doing metabolic studies, he has worked on 3D structure modeling, he has been involved in multiple sequence alignment with uh, Eric de Pierreux with the Matchbox uh, multiple sequence alignment, and of course is the director of SIB. And the geolinks are also quite big with Ernest because he is now in Lausanne, as the uh, main office of the CIBO are in Lausanne, but he was in Leuven for a long time. He was at in New York, Rockefeller uh, University, but more typically also in Santiago in Chile, in Trinidad, I forgot the D, in Tobago, and also in Namur University. So a lot of place. And biolinks are basically also quite big because it's everyone at the CIB, I mean, from the group leaders and uh, all of the members. Two other things about Ernest. One, which, I mean, you, I mean, of course, the CIB members now know about it since uh, Christmas, I think, two years ago, but a lot of people don't know that Ernest was an astronaut candidate, I mean, at the European Science uh, Agency. And uh, he was selected as a Belgian astronaut. So, no, this is not a joke. This is an official, this is true. I mean, it's, <laughs> it's not to believe it. But. And another thing is that he has worked as a statistician, and some of his papers are quite interesting, because one of it is not only a statistic paper written in Chile, and it has nothing to do with the field of bioinformatics, or molecular biology, it's on the process, sorry, it's the process of decision making by the student in selection of answers to multiple choice questions. In Spanish, in the review, I think, medical of Chile, I mean, so you see that he's a man with a lot of, we call it in French, qu'il a beaucoup de cordes à son arc. I don't know how you said that in English. I mean, a lot of, uh, uh, of uh, string on his uh, bow. Okay, so. Okay, thank you. Uh, um, okay, after that, I, I, it's difficult to start uh, to speak about uh, the SIP. Uh, but uh, okay, I'm here to try to explain to you what the Swiss uh, Institute of Bioinformatics is. So I'm not here to present some scientific paper, but just to for the people who don't know, to show you what the SIB is. So, uh, first, uh, when, when someone thinks about an institute, if he thinks about a building located in some place where you have all the scientists together working in bioinformatics. And then sometimes they ask me, uh, where are you working? And I say, yes, in Lausanne. And uh, the day after, they say, where are you working? In Geneva. And then it will be in Basel. And then it will be in Zurich. So they say, but what is that for an institute? And in fact, it's an institute that is distributed all over Switzerland. There are groups of the institutes that work uh, in, in Geneva, others in Lausanne, other in Basel, other in Zurich. And uh, we try to coordinate the activities of all these groups in order for them to work on the different aspects of bioinformatics and to bring all the experts together in a coordinated fashion. Also, the SIB is partner of all the universities uh, of these different places. I will explain you how this is working. And also the SIB is participating in some teaching at the master's degree and the doctoral degree. So I will show you that also. So here you have Switzerland. As you know, Switzerland is a small country 
And in fact, that's why we have to organize our meetings in Brazil. But anyway, uh, you, you see here in this country that uh, we have the SIB indicated in several places. And what happens is that we don't have a building by ourselves. Uh, we don't have to pay for a building by yourself. In fact, what we have is agreements with different university academic institutions. So, for example, in Geneva, we have an agreement with the University of Geneva, and according to this agreement, we can uh, uh, we have one group of the university, one professor of this university, for example, who becomes a member of the institute. By such, he will have the opportunity to work with the other SIP members throughout Switzerland. He will have the opportunity to get money from the Swiss Institute of Bioinformatics to pay for equipment and to pay for uh, uh, postdocs or uh, doctoral people or personnel in general. So. It's nice for the university because they have a group very active, and it's nice, of course, for uh, bioinformatics because it allows to increase the size and the activities of a group working in bioinformatics. Now, what happens with one group in Geneva happens with several groups in Geneva. There are, in fact, three groups in Geneva. It, ha it happens with several groups I cannot see where the point is here. Okay. It happens with several groups in Lausanne. It happens with several groups in Basel. In fact, there are four groups in Basel. And it happens now with new groups that were uh, recently uh, aggregated, uh, affiliated to the SID. So it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a network of groups working together. Now, some people want to say that it's a virtual institute. I am completely against this term of virtual institute. In fact, on our payroll, we have actually more than a hundred full-time equivalent uh, uh, scientists working. So that means that it represents money, it represents money in equipment, it represents money in uh, PICO. Actually, the group leaders are these ones. Of course, one of the groups, and I am very proud of that, is the group of Amos Bera, a Swiss prod group, but we have other groups in Geneva and in other sites. We have groups working in proteome informatics. We have group working in computer simulation, in genomics. Uh, we have a group working in uh, microarray data analysis and storage, a group called computational cancer genomics, uh, sorry, bioinformatics store facility. We have a group uh, working, starting to work in systems biology. We have a group in charge of vital IT, and I will tell you later what is this vital IT stuff. Uh, we have groups working on molecular modeling at different levels, some at the atomic level, uh, free energy of interaction, calculation, and so on. We have other people working on predicting uh, protein structure, like the one of Thorsten Schroeder. We have uh, people working in genome bioinformatics at uh, Basel, and uh, RNA regulatory networks at Basel, and also systems biology in Basel. And we have now recently added six new groups to the Swiss Institute of Bioinformatics. It means that the institute is growing, and every year uh, difficulties are a little bit increasing because the number of people is increasing uh, very fast. Of course, as you can see, one of the groups is the one having the highest number of people. It's the Swiss prod group. That's no mystery. In fact, the SIB originally was created to allow this group to survive. 
It was really a matter of surviving at the time where uh, subsidies were cut. So the institute was created for them, and of course, this remains the, 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 the highest, the biggest group within the institute. Nevertheless, you can see that the other groups are quite uh, numerous. Some groups are about 10 people in size, which is not at all negligible. You can see the evolution of the number of collaborators in the SIB during uh, the years of the SIB. The SIB was created recently in 98, and you can see that from 98, we, under, we, 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 we had uh, an, an impressive growth of the number of people working at the SIB. Uh, no need uh, to give the details. Of course, the green bar represents the Swiss prod group, the one that is now uh, uh, emigrating to Brazil, and the other ones are the group staying in Switzerland. And here we have uh, the SIB revenues, actually, and you can see that uh, uh, more or less uh, the revenues are following the increase in size of the institute. Uh, in fact, what is important in this is that we have revenues coming from the Swiss Confederation, which are indicated in green, and you can see that uh, uh, the Confederation, the, the Swiss state, in fact, is uh, willing to help the institute by giving more money every year. You can see that the increase is important on the part. This is the repartition of all the people of the institute within different, uh, between different regions of Switzerland. And uh, Geneva is quite big because uh, of the group of Swiss prod. But anyway, you can see that in Lausanne, it represents about 30% of, of uh, the whole people, and in uh, Basel, 16%. Zurich is, is, is few, 7%, because they just started the new group we just added this year in July. OK, so the activities I gave already some, uh, some indication, uh, research and development activities related mainly to database and software that are developed within the institute, uh, teaching at the level of master's degrees that are organized in different partner universities, and SIG members are uh, participating, uh, helping in that. And then we organize also a Swiss doctoral school. And then, of course, all what is related to database software service to uh, the biomedical research community in Switzerland and abroad. And finally, what is quite important, and I will just give uh, a few indications about that, uh, the Institute uh, created a high-performance uh, center, a computing center, exclusively dedicated to life science, and this was created by the partnership of different universities and three private companies, HP, Intel, and Oracle. Okay, I will skip this. So, uh, the challenges in, in computation and biology are such that uh, there is uh, computational problems in genome analysis, in proteome analysis, in expression profiling, microarrays, sage, MPSS, ESTs, comparative genomics, modeling of macromolecular systems, of course, proteins and prediction of protein structure and so on, and then modeling of complex systems in systems biology. And uh, uh, in, in the in the years now, the evolution is toward an increase in computing requirement, computing speed. Uh, according to the, pre the problem, we are going towards systems biology in which we will require more than one petaflops of, of uh, computing speed. In storage, uh, the capacity that is required is also increasing very, very fast. And uh, the network uh, uh, transmission speed is also increasing 
uh, amazingly. So that really biology requires its own tools. And for that, this center called Vital IT was created. It's a, I, I told you, it's a joint venture between academic and industrial partner, and it's a high-performance high computing center exclusively dedicated to life sciences. And uh, of course, it has some research and development projects that relate to the particular platform and uh, particular CPUs that are used, Titanium 2, and optimization of code on this architecture, and uh, adapt software to the cluster environment, and to develop uh, ad hoc software. But also to respond to infrastructure projects in bioinformatics. Uh, that means uh, for the research projects that are developed in bioinformatics, and among them, there are two that are now quite impo important for us. One is providing the resources for Swiss Biogrid and uh, Systems X. Just a word about that. Uh, the institute is now in charge to develop uh, a Swiss Biogrid uh, in conjunction with the Center of Scientific Computing uh, of the ETH located in Lugano, also with Novartis and with the Friedrich Mission Institute and the ETH. So, and sorry, and Biocentro, I forgot the class, of course. And, uh, uh, in this large, larger scale computational application that are required in bioinformatics, um, this uh, biogrid will help probably to uh, use distributed high performance computing and uh, high speed networks and data collections and archives. And uh, in fact, the Center for Scientific Computing located in Lugani. Lugano is in charge of the grid infrastructure and Vital IT is in charge of providing web service validation and optimization. And finally, there is a, a, a big project in Switzerland, which is uh, the Systems X project, which is a project to develop uh, systems biology in Switzerland at a huge level. And uh, it's a, a joint venture between ETH Zurich, uh, the University of Zurich, the University of Basel, and now others that are coming from other parts of Switzerland, like the University of Geneva and Lausanne. And uh, this uh, huge initiative is now had now 10 million francs for start, but will ask for 100 million next year, so it's a huge initiative in which a huge center for systems biology will be developed. And this center will work with the help of Vital IT, which will collaborate to provide core computing resources to Systems X in its new projects. And that's what I wanted to tell you about the SIB. I have many other things to tell, but I have no time. And I would like to thank all the people of the SIB, but I have no, not enough space on this slide to put them all. So thank you very much. We just have time for one quick question, if somebody has something. It does not seem to be the case. So thank you again. Oh, is there? A, there is a question. Sorry. Certainly believe that. 